Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talks. Hope you're all doing well, keeping safe. Now in this one, it's kind of a message, you know, to some of the black MPs or f- former black MPs, you know, um, within this country. Now, you know, at the moment with everything that's going on in terms of Black Lives Matter and racism, you know, I've seen many people come forward and speak about, you know, um, racist experiences that they've had before or f- racist things that they've encountered within their lifetime. You know, I've seen Ashley Waters talk about um, a racist attack that he was on the receiving end of, and, you know, credit to him for speaking about it because I could see the emotion in him when he was mentioning it. Um, You know, and I see many people talk about racism that they've experienced, you know, many actors, you know, I've seen over time talk about, oh, you know, people would act this way and this way with me on, on a set and whatnot. And, you know, um, I think black MPs and that now are the people that need to speak up because politics alone, the way that most of these politicians talk, and I spoke, spoke about it prior, is like they're not human and they speak in this certain, you know, tone where it's like they say a lot and say nothing at the same time. It's like man speak for 10, 15 minutes and you would have been better off just saying, hello, my name's Joseph and psh, that's it. The rest of it is all a whole load, a load of crap. But, you know, we've got MPs in this country of colour, the likes of David Lammy, you know, who, truth be told, not many people within the area that I'm from respect him, but people only vote him because he's Labour. That's the reality of it, is people literally vote man in because he's Labour. That's it. Oh, yeah. You want to vote Labour? Uh, Yeah, just vote him in. But, you know, I'm sure that that guy... You know, he's someone that recently speaking of about racism and, you know, how we can, you know, hopefully conquer it. But he's someone that I am sure, you know, has experienced some racism within the job that he, he, he's been doing for the however long he's been doing it. And he's someone that needs to come out and speak about these experiences. Again, the same goes for the likes of, you know, a Diane Abbott, Dawn Butler, And, you know, I know there's many other black MPs and I'm sorry that I don't know all their names, but for me, um, it's time all of you you speak out and speak up about it because the reality of it is, you know, it's all good, everyone else speaking up about it, but, you know, your roles are somewhat a position of power. If you're not able to speak about the, the racism that you face within your job role, then there's no hope in my personal opinion everyone can talk about you know in these companies there's there's no people of this level at board level and whatnot and the racism that some people have experienced within a workplace and it's key man people need to know this and you know whether this message will even get to them i don't know but it's time that they give their thoughts and they speak about this sort of stuff because that's the reality of it is the reality of it is is that they need to speak about this stuff and you know so people know you know whether you throw people under the bus so be it you know someone's been racist to you in the past and you know they're still in somewhat a position of power they need to get out of here that's that's the reality of it as simple as that so yeah that's just my thoughts on that um you know i'd be glad to get your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't already done so go hit that subscribe button now and i'll catch you next time